Today, we're going to take a look at two statistical functions. We're going to take a look at the correlation coefficient, and we're also going to take a look at the r squared. Correlation coefficient has often been known as r. So before we delve into an example that uses Google Spreadsheets to calculate the correlation coefficient and the r squared, let's just take a quick review about and learn the concepts of the correlation coefficient and the r squared. What is the correlation coefficient? The correlation coefficient is very simply a measure of the strength of the relationship, linear relationship might I add, between two variables, two items, two data sets, etc. How strong is the linear relationship between them? The correlation coefficient r takes on a value between negative 1 to 1. Negative 1 measures perfect negative correlation. 0 would suggest complete randomness. There is no relationship. And a positive 1, similarly to the negative 1, is a perfect positive correlation. Now, Let's understand what the r-squared is. The r-squared now can mathematically be computed as the square of the correlation coefficient. Keep in mind, remember, correlation coefficient is r. But conceptually, what it means is it tells you how good one item is at predicting the second item. So this r-squared only takes on values between 0 to 1, or you could think of 0 to 100 percent. And the higher up you go, the higher the r-squared is, means you can better predict one item from another. So okay, we've got the concepts down, but why is this even worth looking at? Why is this important? Well, something like this can answer a couple questions, right? So for instance, let's take a look at this question here. How strong is the relationship between height and athletic ability. Now, intuitive, intuitively, you would think, eh, typically the, high, the taller you are, you generally would have a pretty decent chance of being a good athlete. I would say that there is a positive relationship. The correlation coefficient should register between 0 to 1. That's our guess. It should likely be a positive relationship, positive correlation between height and athletic ability. If we take a look at a related question, is height a good predictor of athletic ability? And that's where the r-squared comes into play because the r-squared will give you a measure of how good of a predictor the height is to one's athletic ability. You can also ask similar questions like the relationship between SAT and college readiness. Typically, you would think that a higher SAT score should relate to better or higher college readiness. You can also ask, is SAT a good predictor of college readiness? And there are studies out there that measure just that. They try to answer, try to fully understand that question. What are some other questions we can ask? Is the number theater shown a good predictor of total gross sales? That can be answered by R squared. How strong is the relationship between movie theaters that a movie is viewed at or played at and total gross sales? Correlation coefficient. Let's take a look. We're going to examine this question, these two questions right now and learn how to use the correlation coefficient and r-squared functions. All right. If you move here to the left, we've got data here on the 100 ranked movies in 2012 with the highest total gross. We also have corresponding data on the number of theaters that the movies were shown at. All this data here, we were able to get from, let me pull down our source here, boxofficemojo.com. Come back here, we have this data, and let's try to compute now what the correlation coefficient is. That is, how strong is the relationship between the number of movies, number of theaters that the movie is shown at, and the total gross? So the appropriate function to use 
in Google Spreadsheets is C-O-R-R-E-L. And the appropriate function to use here for R squared is R-S-Q. Keep in mind, we always start off with an equal sign, followed by the name of the function and the open and close paren. Now, what is between the open and close paren? Keep in mind, when we are computing a correlation coefficient or an R squared, we need two data sets. In other words, two variables. In this case, it's total gross and theaters. So when we write out the function, our first data set will be total gross. We highlighted C2 to C101, comma. We need the second data range, which would be the number of theaters. Close paren. And just as we predicted, we would expect a positive relationship between the number of theaters that the movie is shown at and the total grossing sales for that movie. In this case, it's a positive 0.61. Now the R squared, we can do exactly the same thing here and make sure we capture two data ranges, which is the total gross and the number of theaters. Close the paren, hit enter, and just as we expected, we have a positive R squared at 37% or 0.37. So as an example, if we were to chart this out, here are the number of theaters that the movie was viewed at, and here are the total gross. So here we go. When you plot out as using a scatter, scatter plot, we see that indeed we would expect a positive relationship. Imagine a linear relation line that comes across. That line would be the perfect correlation perfect relationship between the number of theaters viewed and total gross. In this case, it's not exactly perfect, but this visual scatter plot does give you a sense that the relationship is indeed positive. Great. So thank you so much for listening in today. We've learned the correlation coefficient, the R squared. We also learned the functions that are used in order to compute that. And we used a neat example here based on movie, movie data.